Okay, so here's the idea. I have this um, little monitor lying around. It's a um, just a 16 by 9 little monitor from um, actually a car monitor that I got off eBay. It's pretty simple, you know, video and uh, 12 volts. I think there's a little voltage regulator in here, I guess. So um, the idea with this is, or the plan that I have for this is, it's it's very small and portable. I think it's used for a backup camera. But um, I want to, and I got this from Banggood, and this is a little um, receiver module. So it's a 5.8 receiver. There goes the antenna. Here goes 5 volt. And there's some settings, but I kind of want to stick it on here and um, I have a little voltage regulator here too uh, VR one but, um, you can see how the end here is we can adjust it over here so um, this voltage regulator with that I kinda wanna stick it on the back of this and end up with you know just a little one piece thing or a little monitor with an antenna on, a 5.8 antenna that I can use for FPV and the only thing that it will really require is um, is power. I want to see how that goes uh, um, so I'll go into that build Okay, so now um, I've got disconnected here. I um, tapped the voltage from here. I so have a 12 volt coming in from here, go through the fuse, and then I tapped some wires. And I brought them um, into a voltage regulator over here. And this is the output of a voltage regulator. And uh, this guy here. Um, this has a little um, adjustment uh, over here which um, I can set and I have set that to be um, to be 5 volts so the output over here is now 5 volts doesn't really matter as long as the input here is bigger than 5 volts the output on these wires will be uh, 5 volts so um, and then I just, of course, cable tied the whole lot to here, uh, you know, just to move it out the way and make it a little bit neat. So um, here's the the video cables. I will now start um, tying it all to the little um, receiver over here. It's so great. Those guys are now on there. Um, then for the antenna, I'm just going to use this little thing you buy them. Of, of eBay or whatever, it's a little SMA right hand por polarized. This one, I believe, RP. And I'm just going to use this little cable, and I'll ultimately um, just you know, hot glue it there so that I can add the antenna. But, um, and that would go to um, over here where the where the antenna is connected so let me try that quickly and see where we get to okay so there's the final product then I took the antenna over here and I just put a little clover leaf receiver antenna on there RPSMA into there wire runs into the oops come on autofocus Ready. There we go. Into there, the antenna. On this side, I've got the 5 volts coming in, coming out. Into here, the 5 volts, that's regulated. From down from 12. And over here, I've got the video from these cables. And this guy is the power plug. So, um, and I've got a uh, battery over there, 12 volt. 
Again, the voltage can be anything, uh, you know, 12 volt and even lower as long as it's in that vicinity. So um, there, and what you end up with is um, really this. It's a little monitor with an antenna on top and a battery that plugs in the, in the back. So um, that's, that's about it. Um, it's fairly simple. Um, little FPV thingy with only one cable and uh, and that's to a battery and this guy is a uh, little antenna stuck in the back so um, let's turn on my um, little uh, FPV uh, quadcopter so here's the quadcopter um, and that's got a uh, transmitter 5.8 transmitter on so um okay so uh, when i finally get it connected that is the result the little um uh quadcopter um its display shows on a little fpv monitor and um the fpv monitor is really just a very small little thing um over here that uh, um, you know is, is sort of self-contained. Um, it's just a small little guy like this, with an antenna on top. And I seem to have a little bad connection there. Okay, there is my FPV con camera with uh, the antenna on top and a battery at the back. So this is nice for just keeping for somebody extra that wants to um that wants to read uh, um and see you know where i'm flying they can use this for a optional little fpv monitor thank you